Miss Janaki. And I'm Ishan. Welcome to our channel. Our channel is called The Art of Happiness because we want to make you happy. In this channel, we're going to be showing you a lot of things. This is not about everyday mundane stuff. We'll be showing you our messages through dramas, songs, music videos, and our hobbies, and last but not least, our daily activities and challenges. We're going to be showing you a sketch about the three modes of nature. What are the three modes of nature? Oh, good question. The modes are three energies which control your activities. You know what? You're not even aware of them. Oh, I heard that before. Is there one energy called passion? You're right. The energies are called ignorance, passion, and goodness. Now, it would be much easier if I would just show you instead of explaining it. So, are you ready to meet Mr. Ignorance? Oh, I really want to win this game, but I'm too sleepy. At least I have the soda to keep me awake, but I'm too lazy to even pick it up. I have these chips, but they're a month old, but they're still good to eat. Now, let's meet Mr. Passion. Move right, move right! I'm gonna lose because of you! Game over! What a lousy game! Last but not least, let's go meet Mr. Goodness himself! Press A to jump! Hmm. Press B to kick! Hmm. hmm, it really works! If you follow the rules, you'll never lose! The moment you wake up to the moment you sleep, the moles are always fighting over you. of sleep. Now that is definitely the mode of ignorance. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm late for work. Ah! Isha, I'm out of my way, I'm late. Mommy! Is there anything here I can wear? Um, this doesn't smell so bad. Wow! That was the mode of passion! So intense! Ah, <sighs> oh, such a lovely morning! I better do my bed nicely. And now I just need to go and brush my teeth. Let me take a shower so I can feel fresh all day. Ah, oh, that felt amazing! Yes, you're right! That was the mode of goodness! Awesome! Just imagine this happening to you every single day. But we always have a choice. Yes, we can at least be in the mode of goodness, the best of all modes. But even better is to be free of the modes. Correct. If we do our activities for Krishna, God, then they will all become spiritual. Like my soccer and my crochet. For example, if I make a warm jacket for the disco, that would be in the mode of passion. But if I make a jacket for a poor man and donate it, that would be in the mode of goodness. But let's see, there is one more thing I need to tell you. It has something to do with this little crochet skirt I made for the deities, Jakna, Baldev and Subhadra. You see, if you make stuff for the Lord, it will become pure goodness, which is above the three modes. 
like my soccer. When I play soccer, I stay healthy and fit so I can serve Krishna nicely and rise above the three modes like this. Oh, I hear Ishan performing the arati. Let's go take a look at him. And we will also prepare some breakfast for my deities of Lord Krishna. Now, I'll prepare Lord Krishna's breakfast. Now we will offer this to the deities. I hope you're all keeping safe in this time of isolation. Today we're going to show you an activity in the mode of pure goodness. That just means we're going to be doing it for Krishna and his devotees. So we're going to make idlis. Idli is a traditional South Indian dish, which is really healthy and yummy. Now this activity will keep you very engaged at home. So please, please try it. it. Welcome to the Holy Foodie segment. To make at least you need two ingredients. Ura dal, which is known as Vigna mango beans, and some idli rice, which is known as parboil rice. Now you can get these two ingredients in the Indian shops. I have some split beans, but it would be much better for you to just use whole beans. But I'm just gonna work with what I have. So you'll be needing one cup of Ura dal and four cups of idli rice. Now remember, keep these two in separate pots. This amount will be enough for four people. Now we're gonna add some water and let it soak overnight. I have already soaked some ura dal and the rice. As you can see, this ura dal has nicely fluffed up. And this rice is very soft. Now we're gonna grind the idli rice and the ura dal but make sure you grind them separately. As Ishan mentioned earlier, we are gonna be grinding the uradal followed by the rice. Now the grinding has been done. The uradal has a very smooth consistency and the rice is very smooth and nice. It's time to pour the rice batter into the uradal batter. Let's add some salt to taste and a pinch of hing. Hing is also known as esafetida. Now we're going to mix the batter very gently. Don't apply too much pressure, but mix it very softly and gently. this lid on and let it to ferment for six to seven hours. Hello everybody! Last night we set this up for fermentation. Let's take a look. Wow! This has fermented really nicely and it has also risen. Now I'm going to add some oil into the idli plate. Like this. This is to prevent the idli sticking to the plate. It's time to pour the batter into the idli modes. Make sure you don't put too much because the idli is going to rise. Now we are done. It's time to stack them up.
Before placing it into the steamer, we are going to add some water, but I have already done that. Now we are going to gently pick this up and place it into the steamer. We are going to now close the lid very tightly and it's going to be ready to steam for 15 minutes. Remember, put it on low flame. We're going to turn on the fire and place the Italy pot very gently. See you later! The steaming has been done. We let it cool down for 10 minutes. Let's open it. Thank you. Now we're going to scoop them out with a spoon. Illy tastes very good with Malaga Puri. You can get this ingredient from the Indian shops. Malaga Puri is also known as chutney powder. Now to add some oil in the malaga puri. You can use any oil, but South Indian sesame oil always tastes the best. tastes very yummy. That must be because we offered it to Krishna with love and devotion. We hope you enjoyed this process of making idli as much as we did. If you want the recipe, it's right down below. Hey, once you finish making the idli, then don't forget to comment down below and let us know how the idli came out. Don't forget to press that bell icon to be informed of more new videos from us. If you like this video, press the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends. That was us, Ishan and Janaki from, from the, the Art of, of Happiness. Happiness. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye. Bye.